the nature of stability analysis. Um, and so we're also going to extend this to the case of uh, elastic structures, elastic beams. Um, well, hey, you guys uh, remember last time in the last Wednesday's or last Monday's lecture, we had the bee flying around here. That was a uh, that was kind of entertaining. I don't think I don't think anything that interesting could possibly happen. Do you guys? I don't know. That was kind of funny. What's up, Doctor DeSmith? How are you doing? Oh my gosh. Hey, who's this? Oh man, it's hey, Josh Dog. Thanks, hey. uh, thanks for letting me uh, tag along in your class and kind of crash your class. Uh, I'd love to share, hopefully, some words of wisdom to the students um, in the class. I know this isn't probably the most ideal way to be spending you know, your junior semester going into your senior year at home on Zoom classes. I know you guys all know how special the University of Tennessee is to me. A lot of people are willing to give up a lot of their time and their resources to help the students, help the current students that are on campus. Um, I, I really saw that volunteer spirit and I knew I made the right decision. Thank you guys for letting me stop in. I'd love to answer some questions. What is the coolest or most influential learning experience you have gone through post-college? Respect to Minshew. <laughs> love, thank you, Brody. I actually was gonna ask, uh... What you're, if you were going to go into the aerospace industry, but I also was curious whether you're a airplane guy now or a rocket guy. So what, which Ooh. side are you actually interested in after your NFL career? Um, I'm still an airplane guy. Uh, I feel like once you're an airplane guy, you're always an airplane guy. <laughs> oh, I meant to ask this question. When you're up in that F-16, did they, uh, did they black? Did you black out? Did they pull G's? So we did a 9.1 G turn. I didn't black out but I saw the, the vision, I started, started getting really bad tunnel vision, but we were able to make it through it. It was, it was difficult. Now what gets you, like the G-turns aren't bad, but what gets you are like the slow, like the barrel rolls that they do and the flips. Um, yeah, those, those, those get your stomach pretty good. That's where you get, that's the tough one. Yeah, you <laughs> those, those are the tough ones. Ones. That's probably the football training there. The, 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 the freakiest thing though, when you get in the, um, you get in the cockpit, and they say, okay, um, now arm your seat. So you got to arm your ejection seat. So you got a hot seat the whole time. And then he says, you know, if we have a bird strike and something happens to me, just make sure I'm uh, awake before you eject us. I'm like, wow. Like, like, it's real. Like, when you get in that cockpit, it is real. So um, yeah, pressure's on for sure. Yeah, you got you to gotta be locked and loaded. That's for sure. I just want to let you know that since I came to UT, even to this day, I can't tell anybody that I'm an aerospace engineering student at UT without being <laughs> asked if I know you. Well, now you can say you know me. So um, you can answer yes to that question. So no problem. Glad I could stop in. Any other time you want to drop in, hey, <laughs> totally. totally I might, I might, I, I'm just sitting at the house. You know, I got some free time. I might stop in, just learn some more. Just go back in and, and refresh my mind on some structure. So I'll, I'll let for you sure. know if I stop maybe. back in. <laughs> well, well, thank you guys for having me. Um, I appreciate it. Go Vols always. Um, and praying for you guys. Stay safe during these times and wash your hands, please. See you guys.